What is up everybody? Now one thing we don't talk about a lot is underneath the seat cover on the driver's side of the T100 lies this nastiness right here. That is so disgusting. I can't even believe that I sit on this seat, uh, let alone touch this nasty seat. That is so gross and we are going to do something about this today. Now, before we talk about those beautiful seats you just saw right here, I met this super cool guy who has a super cool T100, and he has some SR5 seats that are in supposedly pretty good condition. He's going to sell us. So here are the seats. Let's talk about them. Forget about those seats. Let's talk about this T100. So this is a super awesome T100. So he took out those seats to put in these uh, PRP Enduros. These are actually heated racing seats right here. This truck was an automatic, but he did a manual swap, airbag delete. There is a lot going on with this truck right here. This thing is super cool, except I like those black uh, door panels. That's what I noticed. Anyways, Greatest feature about this truck, solid front axle. Right here, we got a Dana front axle, crossover steering. Uh, this thing's sitting about eight inches of lift, and unlike mine, this thing does not have a body lift. Uh, Dana rear axle again, uh, disc brake rear conversion. We see a Flowmaster up there. It looks like a resonator or something. I don't know what that's about, but this truck is super clean. Both sides are cherry. You can see we got Rhino lining on the uh, rocker panels. Anyways, this truck is awesome. But let's get back to the seats. Here we are, seats in the back of my T100, and we are heading home. But it is Mother's Day, and I got to do something nice for the wife because it's super nice. She went and got these seats with me. Uh, but we stopped by the Gale's Bakery, her favorite place for a hot chocolate, and now we're heading home. So we get home. We're going to pull these things out and take a look at them for the first time. And they are rough. Now, no rips or tears or anything, but it looks like a cat's been sleeping on them the last couple years. But let's go ahead and try them out. And they feel good. But I feel like these seats need a super deep cleaning and an extraction. I mean, just look at that side bolstering. What is that? I don't know what those little dots are. They look rusty. They look nasty. I mean, this stuff looks like oil and grease. But again, I got a smoking deal on these seats, and they are in incredible condition. So I'm busting out the Bissell extractor, and let's get to work on these things. Uh, I'm also going to use uh, the drill and the Ryobi brush to really get in there. Uh, so first off, let's just soak these seats down, uh, brush them up, and, uh, and start the extraction.
no matter how well these seats were treated right here, both sides, the handle's broken off. And every T100 I've ever come across has these things broken off both sides. The, my 95 broken off both sides, the 97 broken off both sides. But I can tell you right now that a Toyota Tacoma 2001 to 2004, uh, the little adjustment knob handle right there works for these T100s. So I have those on the, uh, on the old seats. Let's go grab those off, put them on both sides. When I was over at that dude's house, I noticed he uh, redid his door panels in, uh, in black. It looks super good. I hate to take his idea, but I'm definitely gonna have to take his idea. Uh, it'll match the carpets. Anyways, just look at these seats. Just look at this. We got reaction video. Holy. Oh. Wow, it looks really good. So yeah, so now you got this thing right here. What, what could you keep in there? Cough drops. Yeah. Oh, like sunglasses. Your sunglasses will they fit there? Let's see. Oh, oh okay. Okay. nice. So I was mentioning, I mentioned earlier in this video, this was the first Toyota truck that ever had a center console was in this SR5, and this was a pretty big console at the time. The cool about it is that it's not like broken and hyper extended here. No other center console or the armrest on the outgoing seat. Uh, for some weird reason sat up like that this one sits exactly where it's supposed to be that is going to go ahead and do it for our, our seat revamp seat overhaul i don't even know what to call it but new seats are in uh very rare to come across an absolute cherry set of uh seats for a uh toyota t100 so i had to jump on that one and uh that's it you heard it what do you think beautiful yeah it looks great yes i know like before if i uh I wouldn't even really want to like put a sweatshirt down on here. Like, totally. like if I had to go, if I was going into work or something, I'd like bring it in my work rather than leave it on the seat because the seats are kind of gross. But yeah, like you could sleep in here if you had to. I mean, that's pushing. But yeah. Somebody could sleep in here. Yes. <laughs> Not me, but you could. Somebody in theory could sleep in here now. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be too bad. Anyways, you guys, uh, that's a wrap. Um, if you are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Everybody else, everybody in general, drop a big old thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more great videos. I'll see you everybody soon. Peace. Another thing I want to show you guys is, is these are, uh, there's full cloth back to these ones. These are the base model again, so they have like vinyl backing. Yeah, look at full fabric. I mean, these are the kind of uh, luxury features that really stood out in the 90s when I toyota a truck. You know, you know, these days it's like, hey, does it have crawl control? But in 97, it's like, hey, do you have full fabric headrests? And you'd be like, yeah, I do. I do. What do you got? Oh, I still got, I got vinyl. I got vinyl backing.